Alright. Got ourselves a lovely gen. If I had balanced landing, this would have been nice, but that's okay. <coughs> we have pad there, I presume. Oh! Prove thyself. Thank you very much. Normally, people who play that particular character forget his name from Stranger Things. Can't remember. Normally, they're assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the ones in say their outfits. <laughs> oh god. That's like pizza joint. You just kinda gotta be wary of him, but hey, if he's really improved myself, he's either gonna be a farming bastard or just a nice guy. Also blight should be good. Although a really good blight can absolutely destroy you. So they're either really good or they're kinda rubbish. That's kinda how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, they can often just 4k because they just take they just hit you so many <laughs> yep, I'm just here. I'm pretty sure he's... I must have blended in with this. Look at that. Those colours. Ah. Gorgeous. Right. Is he coming to me yet? Oh, he's found... He's found Sailor. Uh, if I was a, not a dumbass, I would just get the hell out of here, but I kind of want to try and save him. God, what am I standing on right now? <laughs> well, that works. Bamboozle, good info. Oh god, here he comes. <laughs> oh, thank you Sprint Bust for making me not have to use my brain. <laughs> oh, okay. I should make this, but I won't because game... Oh my god. Bamboozle, yep, I remembered. Fire barrel. Smart of him just to wait, but it might not have paid off. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna expect me to jump, I won't. Still bouncing. Oh, barely survived that one. Why is he not looking at me? He's leaving me? No, he lost me. Difference. He wasn't actively trying to leave me, he just didn't know where I was. Right, now we bamboozle him by going this way. I don't know what this hindered effect is. I should learn what that is after the game. Note to self. Um, I'm assuming it's something when he uses his power, but it could also be like snares. Kind of like Freddy. Okay, he's not actually on me anymore, is he? No. Okay, right, I'm going to go over there and do a gen because I've been running this guy too long. Oh, actually, gen right here. He's working on it. Prove thyself, boy. Oh my god, it is. Hello. Let's do the gen now. Here we go. After. Whew. That was fun. Man, Blight is actually kind of fun because it's like all about twitchy reactions and like, oh, is he just running at me or is he using his power, you know, it's about responding really, really quickly to those two states. One is just make distance, use windows to your advantage, use pallets to your advantage, loop them. And then the other, which is him using his power, is instantly like, how do I use walls and other things to protect me from that instant charge, because there's no way I can outrun him. Like, even with pallets and windows, it's a case of just like, using obstacles constantly, and it's like, switching between those mindsets is uh, definitely what makes it fun. See it? Um, I'm bad. <laughs> also. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we have a friend. You want to come heal? Yep. Yeah. Make up for my mistake by being here too. Thank you. Hit one of them at least. Now we just waste the sprint burst. He hasn't hit. He hasn't downed anybody. And we're on two gens. So yeah, we've probably won this one. Thanks to basically me and Steve. That's the character's name. I remember. Me and Steve running him together. It can be beneficial to take killers off of other people in chases, but sometimes it's just really hard to get the timing right for it. What you end up doing is just um, wasting your own life, basically, and then them going down anyway. Um, so it's it's without you know survive with friends. It's hard to coordinate those things. That was very lucky that it worked out that way. Um, the reason why I made that play was just because I want stacks for my uh, we can live forever. Because if I take a protection hit, that goes up a snack. Um, so that's why I'm playing risky and stupid, basically, is to get more blood points using that puck. Um, but playing risky and stupid for a rare change pretty much won us the game. Although now he knows where uh, where's that? He's on. That's on the other side. Okay, he was coming towards me. He still is coming towards me. Make his spine chill. I'm gonna crouch here. I think he might know where I am. Let's find out. No, he's just hitting the gen right tree tech. Which side? Which side? This one? Okay, now we just peg it. Yeah. 
back. Hide behind the gen. <laughs> okay, he's recovering. Make distance. Not enough distance. He was pretty quick on the ball with that one. He's going up that way. No, he's not. Yeah, he's going to get hit here. <laughs> no, not enough space for those kind of spins. Right now, he uses his power to make up the distance. Wow, that was fucking weird. Can I run him? So a bunch of 50-50s, basically. Oh, okay, he fucked it. Ah, oh, I got hit in the corner. Annoying. Tried to go back to Shaq. Which side was Pallet on? I can't remember. It's not on the side I want it to be on, though. What's this? Thank you. Uh, he missed, missed the 50-50 up Bamboozle. I'm not going to make it to the Pallet in time because I didn't react quick enough. Uh, maybe I did. I did. Pre-drop. Yeah, wow. <laughs> He's gonna he's one of those people. Ah, oh, yeah, I couldn't I couldn't carve it. He had too many stacks. I should have preempted he was gonna use his power again, that was my mistake. I could use those trees if I'd ran to them instead of the open. Whew, never mind. That was okay. One one gen and they're about to finish it, so we're good. Oh. Like, this is you know this is why this fun is, this game is fun because it's just, you're just computing so many things and trying to make decisions you know it's like chases it's less about like being exactly right with your aiming unless you're like huntress I guess or, or deathslinger killers um, but it's more about like just it's like responding to, to events and making decisions based on it for example responding to like, my spine chill is lighting the fuck up right now and then responding to that right right okay exactly the other one so again, just paying attention to him, seeing that he was immediately not on me, completely changed the way I played those last couple of seconds, which has given me a head start, which means I might get to the exit gate. You see how all these decisions, they kind of compound. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, and he's on me now, I think. Oh god, no. Well, okay, heal me up instead. Right. Change of plan. <coughs> I'm going to try and go for the save. They shouldn't have really opened that gate so soon. It's put us on a timer, which was unnecessary, but I... I get it. Um, I'm actually just going to fixate. Get my spirit burst back at some point if I can. I also have to be a little bit careful because if he catches me out with that power of his, he could hit me twice, not too, you know, without too much difficulty, and I could risk my own life doing this. Um, he's coming back. Okay, I need to time this properly. Yeah, he's charging at somebody who's going around that way. Yeah, he's mid chase. Okay, well, now we know we can get this. Unless he's going to try and 4k behave, even if he comes back with the snacks. It's not the end of the world. Alright, you run to the exit. <laughs> he could have taken, given me a hit there. Right, I'm going to hide right here. It's sensible for him to wait a second. Right, I'm out of here. Just keep carding around the objects until he runs out of stacks. There it is. He gave up on the chase because he was worried these guys were there, but they were healing. That mistake might cost him. Let's find out. <laughs> Baited him into a swing. Might give him a bit of time. Uh, he's just going to guard it too well, though, I think. One of us is going to take a hit before we can get that unhook. That's the problem. Oh no, he's fucked up. Right, time to get involved. Come on, Steve. We're going to protect these two. Where's he going? He's just running right past us, the little shit. <laughs> that should do it. Some heal points at the end. Steve's gone. Not wasting any time. <laughs> and gone. Oh, that was a good one. I'll highlight that. Let's check the uh, post game before I do that though. So, 50k points. Not bad. Not as many stacks as I'd have liked. Pip up. And uh, GG's. Look at him. He's a nice guy. It's hard to say GG when you know that he's a. But I suppose. So, using rush tokens, your last lethal rush will put survivors into the dying state. 
<laughs> that did explain why he uh, took a lot of risks. I did not know that it was even a thing. Damn. Any survivor in the system of Islam will suffer from the hinder status effect. Ah, so that was what that was. That was slowing me down. Yeah. Hmm. Well, combo. Interesting pop build. I don't know if he ever used it. That's probably why the gens went pretty quick. But yeah, it's because he didn't get down quick enough. This is the, this was the issue. This barbecue and pop rely on you getting downs quickly, which he, unfortunately he didn't do because we messed with him early on. If I hadn't ran him for that start chase, this game would have been a completely different game because these these just compound, you know, like with all of this combined, like that's that's a really dangerous thing. Like he's he's looking at end chases quick as hell with this, and then get information, slow gems with these two, and ruin helping him out on the side. So yeah good build, but we just stopped him by just running one good chase, basically. Whew. There you go. Sometimes.